Hey, what's going on, everyone? We got Mike. We got Mike G on the rigid threading station right now. We got Kelvin. Effing Kelvin, man. Today he learned how to wrap up a hose. Isn't that right, Kelvin? Man, I know how to wrap up a hose. You know how to wrap up a hose? Yeah, man. We got Steven, like the A man. <laughs> Wrapping up the hose, I wrap it up in the bungee because when I hang it back here, there's long bends, man. It's long bends. When I go over those bumps, oh man, it's murder back there. It's murder back there. Anyway, this is a Navian CH240. This is a Burnham Alliance indirect water heater. The other Navian CH240 is in the back of the truck. And let me show you this six zone. Navian NFC 200 combi boiler. We had ideal conditions, by the way. Look at this. Here's the driveway, here's the garage, and let's take a view. By the way, it's a great idea. I saw this many years ago in an old oil company. They put it in my house, and I stole that idea. Feel free to steal the idea as well. So let's take a review of what's going on here. This wall contained one CH240. The indirect was right here. Uh, the expansion tank was actually hanging by the <laughs> uh, air scoop to there. We gotta get rid of that. But And the other CH is over there. Mike's finishing up the gas piping, so that's why you see the red screen with ignition failure. Anyway, as you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six Taco 007 E's. These are high efficiency ECM circulators. I love them. I use the Webstone, which is now a brand of Nipco. Uh, the circu um, circulated isolation flange with rotating flange. The purge on one side, isolation on the other. This is my supply side, guys. For Air separation, again, Webstone, inch and a quarter press, air separator, my expansion tank, extra number 30. Down below, I got the Kalefi half inch pressure reducing valve with the optional pressure get, uh, uh, dial. This is my backflow device. Got a little leak there, we gotta tighten that up. Isolation valve for that, but this also has a valve built in as well. And coming off my cold water, domestic cold. I got the Navi clean on the return side. Guys, this is an inch and a half uh, IPS fitting, female. You gotta reduce down, I reduce down right away uh, from, with a one and a half by one inch brass reducing bushing and I go right into the Addy Navi Clean magnetic filter. This is also a valve, that's a valve as well back there. And then I went to inch and a quarter for all my returns, which are there. And I got, a, you know, and I got my um, neutralizer. You have the condensate trap there, all piped in. And my Taco SR506 six zone switching you relay. Backflow preventer. Oh yeah, all you haters out there. Yeah, where's the backflow device? Du, 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 du. There it is. All you channel trolls. So Mike's gonna put in the last piece of pipe. Then we're gonna turn the gas on and get this bad boy running. Up at the top, I really like, and I, if you guys watch you know, my, my NFC videos already, you know I really like this manifold tree that, they com that comes with the NFCs. We have our automatic air vent, and we have our pressure relief valve there, and I got that piped in So there. They give you the stainless steel uh, manifold for the hydronic space heating side. They don't give you the domestic valves, but I wish they did, but they don't, but full three quarter. These are also by Webstone. As you can tell, I love Webstone. Webstone's great. I wish Webstone made press fittings, but they don't. They just make great valves. Big shout out to my buddies at Webstone. I don't know who you are, but all you engineers, support staff there, you guys make great, great, awesome uh a material to help us plumbers get the job done right and better. Now, it's been, uh, I don't know, how long has it been since we put an NFC in? 
I think since before Corona. A couple of weeks. <laughs> You know, we pump these things out. So. <laughs> it's summertime. Normally, I you know I focus on air conditioning, but this guy had a problem with uh, his space. Uh, sorry, his domestic hot water. So we sw we wanted to get this in and during the summertime. But I did forget that the Navy and NFC, either the 175 or the 200, they allow you to wire up to three internal zones, circulator zones. You know, you could wire right from your your, your Takeo circulators or whatever. Grunfrist, whatever brand, Armstrong, whatever circulators you're going to use, B&G, you want them right to the panel inside the NFC, which I'll show you right now. Two latches. I'll take that off. Set this down. So, over here, you have your low voltage. You have, this is zone two, zone one. This is for recirculation. Here is zone three. We have our outdoor supply return temperature sensors that can go there. And on this bank, this is our line voltage side. We have zone one, zone two, zone three, and the recirculating pump. You know, if you want to add a recirculating line, um, you can easily do this. You do need a pump, and you can be wired directly to the Navy and NFC control board. And the NFCs are great. The fire tube combis. There is the, the bulk of the heat exchanger. And I gotta tell you, I really love the NFCs. I like the NCBs as well, but the only problem with the NCBs is that that damn three-way valve is behind the internal circulators and and no access panel no to the side. Like if they if they had one like right there to get the three-way valve out on an and an, on an NCB, yeah, I guess it'd be cool, but they don't. So. Mike's finishing up the gas piping. I'm going to get going here. Give me your thoughts, feedback, criticism down in the comment section down below. And stay tuned for more future content from the one and only Plumber Mike at Pipe Doctor. Plumbing, heating, and air conditioning, 516-348-6300. And uh, check out yesterday's video. If you guys want a free hat, mask, or t-shirt, DM me. Make sure you're a subscriber. And uh, until supplies last, a while supplies last. Thank you very much. Be well, be safe. God bless.